Next, I'd like to look at some country fills. Again, I don't want to belittle them and say, oh, country is not much technique. There's a whole approach and touch, a mood that is in, involved in country music. Uh, there's different feels. You've got your country shuffles or your, your, your double time feel. I'm just going to focus on a double time feel right now. Also referred to as a, a train beat. With this one, you can see the accent scheme. It's just on the snare, so I'm going to play that for you, leading with the right hand. So with the accents on the snare, it sounds like this. Now I'll play it with a beat so you can kind of feel how it's looping. I like to have the Hyatt on that off eighth notes so that when actually I go to do fills in this type of style, if I hit on the downbeats, um, it doesn't take away from the forward motion. It, it helps to have that Hyatt chipping on the off eighth notes. That way I can kind of step outside a little bit of that feel, not too much, and uh, elaborate a bit more on the accents and development of the, of the fills. So now let's try that with the music. Now with the next country fill, again with just the accent scheme leading with the right hand, I'll play it just on the snare. It goes like this. And now with the beat. And now, with some music. If you notice on the country examples, I was using these hot rods and I like to use them for that type of feel because there's a whole bunch of little sticks together and when they compress on the head, it kind of softens the attack as opposed to a stick, which is very bright. So it just gives a different texture in that. I like to use it to not just in country setting, but different rock feels or Latin things that might be going on. It's just nice to, to be more diverse in the textures and not always having a, a quick attack from the stick. So once again, you want to think outside the box and just experiment and have fun.